So let's summarize what we've learned about asset pricing in complete markets when every possible contingent claim is either sold directly or you can synthesize it. First, when payoffs and prices are in a complete market and if the law of one price holds, then we found that the price of any payoff is just the sum of its contingent claims prices. So there's a contingent claims price vector that represents prices that way. There's a discount factor such that price is the expected discounted payoff. And there's a set of risk neutral probabilities such the price is the expected payoff divided by the risk free rate uh, evaluated at those distorted risk neutral probabilities. What have you learned? The contingent claims price factor, stochastic discount factor, and, con and risk neutral probabilities, you can transform from one to the other and use whichever representation is simpler for the problem at hand. The risk neutral probabilities were very beautiful. They represent risk aversion as a probability distortion. And when you start thinking about psychology and how people answer surveys, people often pay too much attention to hurtful events. That's exactly what risk aversion says they ought to do. Another uh, formula we looked at, the, the uh, discount factor, is the ratio of uh, transform to original probabilities. So the discount factor is the same thing as the change of measure from transformed to uh, original probabilities. We then found that our original price is discounted payoff. It just represents assets as a bundle of claims. It wasn't particularly deep after all. However, linking the discount factor or the contingent claims price or the risk neutral probability to data, that's where we're going to get some bite if we want to test our asset pricing theories. Uh, the positivity of margin utility told us the discount factors needed to be positive in all states of nature, no matter what happens tomorrow. Positive discount factors is something that's going to come back, uh, and, and we're going to think about that a lot more in the future. And finally, we learned something about uh, the geometry of our asset pricing world. We can put things in this state space diagram uh, where the discount factor then generates hyperplanes of, of different prices. And then we can look at all of our different zoo of asset pricing objects in that diagram and keep track of them.